Please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. All right, so uh, many of you have been asking me questions on uh, some kind of artwork you see in form of flyers and all of that. And, uh, you may ask me to make tutorials on it, so no problem actually. So, I want to show you guys some examples of how what the person did. That, in case you don't know what I'm talking about here, example of what the person did, and uh, people requesting for. Uh, what's it called tutorial is that okay so for example now i screenshot this from instagram by sewa graphics you can see his name here so he also has a youtube channel all right so things like this he did all right so hi also, but what he did is with um psd files yeah so you can go to his telegram channel to see such and there is mine also the one i did with my mobile device which is my pixlab all right so this tutorial now will be on pixlab application all right i want to teach you guys how to use uh, this pixlab application to do something like that or let me say close to that all right so let me just cancel all right and delete this text so if you don't know how to use this application i think i have released a tutorial on my youtube channel i'll put the link under this video to guide you more on this application and how to use it for your frame all right so just let me import the one i did all right let me import okay um, there it is so with my pixel app right so i import the one i did with mobile remember the one i showed you which is for sewer graphics is done with psd file but this particular one now is not done with psd file it is done with mobile and that's what i want to teach you now so firstly um i would love to use this in picture all right so that you can understand i'm trying to do exact replica of what is here all right so i will have to go to my same work that i've done before uh, okay let me see uh, okay let me choose this all right so i'll just click on the check mark and now i will want to give it stroke to make it a little bit you know more creative all right so here's my stroke all right so let me increase the stroke a little so that it's gonna be i see with a, a, a notebook or you know something very close to that you understand me now so let's see i'm trying to change the color of the stroke so that it can be more creative and creative all right so i think the stroke is better like this now uh, I will send this work to you. The next thing we are going to do is to use um, your uh, predictive. All right, here is the predictive. Just to set it, just somehow. All right. So, here is what I'm doing. Is that okay? So, just watch what I'm doing. All right. Just make sure you set it well. Uh, I'm just using this one as a guide for you so that you can download mine and then use it for your home But it's not compulsory. It's something you can just you know reset by yourself and just put it there You understand so I think I'm satisfied like this. It's bended already That's what we're just trying to achieve is that okay? And now the next thing I'm going to do is to import a shadow All right, it's a shadow PNG. So I've got that and uh, Just check my telegram channel all right, I'm going to send it there. Like I said, check Telegram. Nobody should ask me on WhatsApp, please, because I may not be able to do that for you on WhatsApp. Just go to my Telegram group and search for this picture. It's over there. Is that okay? And now what I'll just do is just lock this picture layer and then drag this one to the bottom so that it can be below. You understand? All right, just let's eradicate the one on there before just let's put a good color all right can you see what i'm doing okay can you see uh just let's let's choose uh, i just want us to choose color that will depict what you're doing well i think this green is the better all right so here is the layer we're working on 
Now we have a rotate here, so you can make use of the rotate, and then let me just edit some areas there. All right, just I want it to be made well. All right. Can you see? So you can choose to put it in any angle, you can choose to put it in any area, and I tell you, it will fit in. Do you understand? So you can choose how wide you want it to be. You understand? You can choose how wide it should be. All right. I think that's fine now. All right, guys. So do you understand? That's just how to do it. And it's you can just post it like that and put your logo and any other thing you wish to put there. Exactly. So to get that shadow PNG, just go to my telegram channel of which the link will be below this video. So I'll just put this on custom and then save to my gallery. Do you understand? So it's as simple as that. Very soon, I think I'm going to make a tutorial on how to achieve this same thing with your Autodesk sketchbook application. Thank you guys for watching. Just consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if it is very interesting and useful for you. Goodbye.